friends um, today we are going to look at a very typical question on the projectile motion it's normally not asked and i find it uh, a little bit out of syllabus but still uh, it could be asked in je mains or advanced and that is the radius of curvature of path of projectile actually this is taught in first year engineering but a simple formula whose proof is really very difficult so i'm going to introduce the formula the radius of curvature is given by vx square plus vy square to the power 3 by 2 upon vx ay minus vy ax where v stands for velocity and a stands for acceleration please note x and y indicates x axis and y axis the same formula is 1 plus dy by dx whole square to the power 3 by 2 upon d square y by dx square this considering the equation of trajectory and this considering velocities please 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 do not bother about the proofs of these formulae are absolutely out of syllabus just remember it's a very simple thing to understand vx square plus vy square to the power 3 by 2 upon vx ay minus vy x just remember the formula that is my advice to you there is no point in going about the proof of this there is a there are two equations in hc verma based on these formulae let us do that. It is from the chapter of circular motion on HC Verma. It's actually surprising because it is not really a part of our syllabus. It is page number 115. Example number 25. They are asking a problem like this. A particle is projected with initial speed u, angle of projection theta with the horizontal. And they are asking the radius of curvature at the highest point point this is the angular pressure theta now let us see at the highest point the particle only has a horizontal velocity which is fixed u cos theta the vertical velocity is zero So Vx is this, Vy is 0. There is no horizontal acceleration of course. So Ax is 0. And the vertical acceleration is acceleration due to gravity which is minus g. So all we have to do is just put in these values in the formula and you get the radius of curvature. It's as simple as that. So the 
radius of curvature is Vx square Vx square will be u cos theta cos square is a y is minus g v y is zero okay what does it give us gives us u cube cos cube theta upon u cos theta let us take numerical value so let's not bother about minus g and you will have u square cos square theta upon g so this is the radius of curvature at the highest point now in example number 26 which just follows they are asking the same question what is the radius of curvature in the previous problem when the particle velocity makes an angle theta by 2 with the horizontal means is if we complete the resolution this angle is theta by 2 or in short vy upon vx apply the same formula now for the radius of curvature and let us write vy as tan theta by 2 times vx x is 0 so v y into a x will be 0 let us just simplify this and very quickly arrive at the answer So, if you take vx square common, vx square raised to 3 by 2 will be vx cube, right? Take vx square common, raised to 3 by 2 is vx cube. What remains is 1 plus tan square theta by 2 ka 3 by 2 upon g into vx. When vx will cancel. So it is vx square upon g, 1 plus n square theta is x square theta. And 
and you know Vx is u cos theta. Sec square by two square by two will give you sec cube theta. So this is your final answer for radius of curvature. If the value of theta is actually given, you can substitute and get the answer. So I just wanted to elaborate these two examples because they are different and they are based on the radius of curvature which is normally not introduced in your 12th standard syllabus. Thank you.